Good afternoon, it's Jeff and Wilmer at Budrum and I just want to show you this beautiful pineapple and ginger jam that I just made this afternoon. Uh, from my homegrown pineapple and my homegrown ginger. And I'm going to show you how we made it. So I'm just finally chopping up this pineapple here that I harvested two days ago for this jam. So what I'm doing here is I'm just chopping up, finely slicing some uh, about 100 grams of my ginger. So this is out of the freezer, so I'm just uh, finely cutting into real fine strips. So what I'm going to do is just take the zest and the juice off one lemon. This is a good sized lemon. Actually, everything else we've produced ourselves except the lemon, but this came from over the back. So it's still homegrown. And the smell coming off this lemon is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, uh, what we're going to do now is just measure how many cups we have. Because I'm putting two thirds of a cup of sugar for every cup of fruit. That's one. Now that's about good enough for five. So we have five cups of fruit. What I'm going to do is bring this to a, to a simmer and let this cook for about 15 minutes. Now this has been simmering for a quarter of an hour. What I'm going to do is add my sugar. I've worked out at three and, a, three and one third cups of sugar. So I'm just going to add this to it and mix it through and then just cook it cook it into a jam. So we can have a look at it in a half an hour, see what it looks like in 30 minutes. So we're just having another look, a uh, half hour inspection, taking shape, I think. We'll check it in another half hour. It's been about 35 minutes, I suppose, since we had a look at it last. So it's starting to darken up beautifully. Still got a lot of liquid. So I'll just give it another 30 minutes. So it's been about another 15 minutes. So what I'm going it, to, it's quite thick, but the, the liquid is still quite runny. So what I'm going to do is put in about half a packet of jam setter in there, uh, pectin, and give it another five minutes. And just give it a bit of a, a bit more of a hard boil for another five minutes. And I think it'll be time to turn it off then. Okay, well we turned, we just turned the heat off. The five minutes has, has been boiling for five minutes with the jam setter, and it, and it looks like in, it's going to be a fantastic jam. Let it cool down and we'll do the cold, the cold saucer test. Okay, so this is our, I've got my frozen saucer and I'm going to just try it out. Fantastic. Actually, I think it's right. I think it's as good as gold. It's got a beautiful colour. I had a taste of it before and it tasted absolutely beautiful. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later. Bye.